NBC Sports presents the National Football League. Today, it's the Seattle Seahawks versus the Kansas City Chiefs. AFC West, well, Kansas City with their win over L.A. last week, they're right there. Only one game back, and Seattle to make a wild card position. They really have to start winning. Got to the outside. Gets it out of there. Fetter cannot hang on. There is another flag down deep in the Seattle. Well, holding number 61 is accepted. 10 yard penalty. He better get out of there. Kickers around the league should do that. He, he gets all dressed up there, keep his legs warm. Got a lot of crazy habits we'll touch on this afternoon. First down, Kansas City, and Christian Akoyberg in the shotgun. He's got Todd McNair in the backfield with him on the left sideline. And now we rejoin you with the pictures to put the sound together with you. Rob Thomas cannot hang on at the 50. They have not been blessed with good field position on their first two starts. Fenner. Nice run by Fenner. What a play by Porter. Shotgun, third and ten. Look out, Derek Thomas on the prowl at the one-yard line. Did a heck of a job to get that off. And a spiral to boot. Bird on first and ten at the Seattle 32. Well, Barry Words fresh, isn't he? To the 20. That's what their job is. They're supposed to block. Minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Fake bootleg throws it. Almost intercepted by Cortez Kennedy. The rookie from Miami, Cortez Kennedy, had it right in his paws. Steve DeBerg, shotgun formation, third and five for Kansas City at the Seattle 15. <laughs> Stefan Page with a stretching catch to the nine, first and goal. No score, but Kansas City knocking right on the door. It's first down and goal at the Seattle nine when we come back to Arrowhead Stadium. Bill Jones, step on page in motion. Give Bill Jones the ball, they won't expect it. Barry Word is hit by Rufus Porter. Kansas City trying to get it in. Todd McNair in the backfield now as the shotgun is employed. Blitz by Jacob Green and he knocks the ball down. He's still very far away now yeah. from the ball. His hands are important. He's ready. And that's usually the result. 25-yard field goal splits the uprights. All of that. Now two wide receivers. Kane is in. Craig calling on first down. And John L. Williams is wide open over the middle. Durant Cherry's the last man. And he gets him down at the 10-yard line. And the official now is saying... He's throwing a flag against the Seattle coach who had run down the sideline. That's Reggie McKenzie about here, and he throws and he hits Derek Thomas. Now, the reason that Reggie McKenzie ran downfield is because the play was stopped, and then Dino Hackett tackled him. And Martin's a pretty good one himself. Marty Schottenheimer said he had a Pro Bowl season last year on third down and one. No. What a hit. Sally Amore. Through the middle, and Seattle answers back to tie the game with 7.53 remaining here in the first half on the John L. Williams pass catch. That's right. DeBerg 5 for 13, throwing the ball 32 yards. Double clutches. Oh, big hit. Robert Blackman, they just do not look good, and they're trying to hurry up the offense right now, and even that looks a little slow. <laughs> Stephon 
Pompe. Near midfield and push back. They'll give him the 50-yard line and the clock continues to run. We're under a minute. They have two timeouts left. Rob Thomas to the Seattle 42-yard line. Now they got to burn one more. And get yourself in position for a field goal. You still have one timeout. They're at the Seattle 42, and Jacob Green jumped offside. Rob Thomas has the catch. Bob Costas, Will McDonough, O.J. Simpson with all the scores and highlights from around the league as we get Kansas City with 32 seconds left in the half. J.J. Burton inside the 25, first down. 27 seconds, and now they're inside the 25 of Seattle. DeBerg giving it a shot to the end zone. Almost intercepted. Patrick Hunter was right there. Across the middle, incomplete. Back into the shotgun, 17 seconds left. Holding on to one timeout in a 3-3 tie. It's Todd McNair running the ball. And he gets down inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. It's a first down with 10 seconds left. Seattle. On that right corner, I believe Dwayne Harper jumped offside. The kick is good. Offside. Defense. Permanent is declined. Field goal is good. So Nick Lowry squibs one on the ground, and doesn't McGuire make the catch? Picked it up and scored. Thank you. Forgot that part. Last play of the half. Incomplete. Jeff Chadwick and Paul Scancy were there to try and make the catch. Well, defense, defense. That was the cry here at Arrowhead Stadium in the first half. And it is 6-3 Kansas City leading over Seattle here in the first half. And they put John L. Williams in a slot on the left side. Craig has Scancy open over the middle and connects with him at the 45-yard line. They're out at their own 45-yard line. A lot of time for Craig. And finally knocked down by Chris Martin. I'm worried about it because I, I didn't know which one it was. Third and nine. It's caught and a lot of running room for Jeff Chadwick. He'll score. Touchdown, Seattle. 54 yards. When you have that much time and Craig just stepped up and saw Chadwick coming across the middle. Now a couple of the defensive guys. Down for Kansas City at their own 44. Ended in that ball game that they lost 19-7. So it's more than eight quarters ago since they've scored a touchdown. Now third down. Okoye trying to get the first down. He does not. And the crowd did not like the play call. Schottenheimer rolling the dice here early in the third quarter. It's an awful lot of pressure on your defense if you don't make it. He's got it. The Chiefs go on fourth and four and get the first down. Now they've got it first and ten. Oh, he threw it on the wrong side of Thomas. Could be picked off. Let's see who they're going to give it to. No, they give it to Kansas City. Kansas Doesn't City's getting it. right up to the line of scrimmage. Here's the play so here. So that now, uh, they get no replay. You're right. This ball was thrown on the wrong side. But the ball was there. Rob Thomas had it. So we do not get the officials to take a look at that. And Okoye, the ball is at the Seattle 15-yard line. Okoye to the 10, to the 8. This is the 14th play after they have to use the timeout as the play clock was running down on DeBerg. Okoye, and I don't know if he got it, Paul. He had to get right to the five, and they spot him First short, I believe, at the there. six. This is to get them into within one. Had trouble with the hold, but Lowry's kick is good. Lowry has all of Kansas City's points, just like last week, but that's still one short of the lead.
Deron Cherry was coming on a blitz and got picked off. He's got to throw it away. That's intentional grounding. Now, even though you have John L. Williams coming into play, but he threw the ball out of bounds. He sees John L., but he knows that he's going to get sacked back inside the 10-yard line, and he deliberately throws the ball away. You know, what's, it, you know what's amazing, though? Watch Craig after the flag is thrown. See, he he's talking. Yeah, he's talking to John L. Williams is there. Browning. Loss of down. Third and 17. A shot in the back, and Craig, that ball went up in the air. 12 fumbles, 13 25. That's super. That's super defense. But I'll say one other thing about Seattle and Craig. Bootleg, and he catches his tight end, Ron Heller, trailing by six. Fenner. Chris Martin said yesterday he doesn't know how good he is. I think he's right. This guy's going to be super. 11 sacks in the year now for Thomas. As the third quarter is going to end here at Arrowhead Stadium. Kansas City's offense has been sleepwalking all day. It is their defense that has put them in front. 16-10. Bruised his left knee, and they're putting, as a matter of fact, a knee pad. They're trying to get a knee pad on there. It's third down, less than one. For Seattle, we start the fourth quarter. John L. Williams, and if he got it, he just got it. In the end zone by Derek Thomas, he fumbled, and the ball was picked up by Dan Saliamua to give the Chiefs a lead. Wide open blades. He's got it deep in Kansas City territory. Second down and ten. Derek Thomas is back in and sacking the quarterback. They don't keep him on the bench very long, do they? That's his fourth sack of the day. You better be aware of where 58 is, and that's Derek Thomas. Third down. I do believe that's number 58 again. Well, there's also Neil Smith, number 90, is in there. Smith is going to get that sack. So Smith gets the sack all the way. They're not going to give Thomas anything on that sack. And you don't. Third down and 13. Nice stretch out catch by Emil Harry. But I think he's short of the first down, Paul. The Seattle Seahawks have played with two tight ends and they bust everything on the inside. They got three, second and seven. John L. Williams. Oh, great run. What a nice move by John L. Williams. Smith is not back in the lineup yet. Leonard Griffin is playing that defensive end spot. Great play by Chris Martin. And there's a flag down. Illegal use of the hands to hit. Number 66 offense. Second down and 30. 835 left here, and the Chiefs leading by six. James Jones takes it. So as you can see, the players are fighting the sun in their eyes, and it's third and 25. It's caught by Blades, but short of the first down as he got out to the 46-yard line. Still a heck of a play by Craig. 6.15 left, fourth quarter, 16-10, Kansas City leading. But after that penalty, they're second down and 14, deep in their territory. He throws to Rob Thomas, who gets nailed by Melvin Jenkins. 528 left here. DeBerg sets Stephon Page in motion. Nesby Glasgow was blitzing, and he got it to Page. Word is back into the backfield. Barry Word with Bill Jones, his fullback. He's got Rob Thomas. Oh. 
Wants to stop the clock there. Second down and ten with four and a half minutes to go. They had their hands all over Stefan Page, and there is no flag. Eugene Robinson. They, you know, the, the secret to two teams that run the ball as much as these two teams is when they get to third down situations, they want to be under three yards. Here comes a blitz. And they got him. Esby Glasgow actually was coming over the top with their new head coach, Jim Schaffner. Check your local listings for your game. Dave Craig needs a touchdown. Derek Thomas with his fifth sack of the day. Actually, is five and a half sacks. Protection was pretty good at this point. Heck is trying to get to Derek Thomas. Now, Thomas is actually flushed out by Sally Amua, and then Derek Thomas finishes it off. Second down, 17. Here comes Maz. Screen. And Derek Fenner gets it open over the 30 yard line. Third and 11. Martin can't get him and what a catch by John L. Williams at the 45 yard line and what a throw by that guy down by six but come up with a big play and now they huddle and we'll be right back two minutes to go they're in Chiefs territory and have all of their timeouts left first down Had. Derek Thomas. That's six sacks for Derek. Six and a half. I don't agree with our scorer here, but I think, still think it's six and a half. Derek Thomas is putting a clinic. Second and 20. Loose football. Andy Heck comes up with it. The offensive lineman for the Seahawks to the 49-yard line. Got Dino Hackett down on the turf. He's hurt. So he is going to get the, he is going to get that other sack that you were talking about that he should have got a half sack on. I am so happy for him. He just having a, he's having a ball. He's having a record day. That's an NFL record. Congratulations to him. Third down and 26 for Seattle. Tommy Kane, fumble, Chris Martin. Seven quarterback sacks. Guys go through a year not getting that many. I was just going to say, he's had a year today. <laughs> I mean, he has just been something. Look at him. He's just, he's just been having a ball. A minute 15 left. Submarine. Fumble There's the a ball. loose ball. And I believe Kansas City might have gotten it back. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hey, hey, mom. Say send food. food. Hey. I'm hungry. Send food. Hey, New Orleans, Louisiana, baby. Derek Thomas on the bench. There's Sally Amu over the top. They'll throw in a couple of Okoye runs <laughs> <laughs> to finish it off. And some music. Third down. Barry Word in the lineup, chased hard by Tony Woods. And then Nesby Glasgow finishes him off. We'll try and get this one out of harm's way. They jumped off, but got back on side. Trying to block it, and they almost got there. Ron Heller almost blocked that punt. Chris Warren gets tagged hard. Loose football. Chiefs say they have it, but the referee says that Warren was down. Well, there's no fair catch here. And watch this. That is Hayes. Look at this hit. Now the Remember, the ground can't cause a fumble. Here's Rusty Tillman, the special teams coach. He's I think what, what he wants is... him to do is, is call for a fair catch yeah. because you have no protection. Look out. It's a screen pass. John L. Williams. And Seattle isn't done yet. They're at the 50-yard line, but they're out of timeouts. Kansas City leads by six. Up to the line of scrimmage they come. That's open. 
Down to the 25-yard line. Tommy Kane, he picks up 25 yards on the play. He's got a bird Ten one right here. Ten seconds left. He's got to get him up and spike the ball into the ground. There it is. Stopped with four seconds left. And they're just saying, everybody get down on the goal line and wait. Because they'll come to you. <laughs> yeah, look, every, you got Duran Cherry, go sit down in the end zone somewhere. Chuck Knox screaming out instructions to his offense. Four seconds left. This is it. Need a touchdown to win it. Duran Cherry is down at about the five yard line. He's just waiting. They're backing off. Look out for Derek Thomas. Paul Scantzi's got it! Is this? <laughs> I'm telling you something. David Craig has done everything that he could possibly do in a ball game as a quarterback to win a football game. Paul Scantzi made the catch. Marty Schottenheimer will now that Norrick Johnson will miss the extra point. Scancy is downfield. Now look at, you've got to get into the end zone. He's just all by himself. Now I don't know, there's Deron Cherry. Martin is not deep enough. Scancy goes up. That ball is right on target and is perfect. There's one other thing about Derek Thomas in this play. This is for the ball game. Seattle wins. On the last play of the game. They hadn't won here since 1980. And David Craig fires a touchdown pass, and Chuck Knox comes away with a huge Seahawks victory. Derek Thomas had David Craig in the backfield. But Craig sp spins out of it and then finds Scanzi downfield. I mean, it's just a super play. David Craig, you know, you talk about even though Derek Thomas had seven sacks today. This young man is the player of the game as far as I'm concerned. He did so many things today to try to make this team win.